Hi, my name is Andres Muller, and I would like to introduce you to the online course that I created for the Instructional Design 400X Capstone Project. The title of this course is Providing Effective Feedback, and this course will be part of a bigger course on faculty development for faculty who provide teaching and feedback to medical students and residents. Both residents, medical students, and faculty have identified giving feedback as an area that everyone needs to improve on. Feedback can be given to different levels of learners from medical students all the way up to residents and even peers. And it can also be given in different situations, ranging from clinical skills, communication skills, documentation, and even research skills. The target audience is basically anyone who provides supervision to medical students or residents. They can range from faculty members who recently graduated to more experienced faculty members. The course type is very much a how-to course where people will learn the theory of providing feedback and then apply it in different situations. The course modality would be a hybrid or blended course where the majority of the work will be done asynchronously, and then at the end there will be an option for a face-to-face -face or virtual meeting. There are two course learning outcomes for this course. By the end of this course, participants will be able to explain what good quality feedback is, and secondly, provide good quality feedback in different situations. Each of the course learning outcomes will have a module dedicated to it, and therefore each module will have its own set of learning outcomes as listed here. These will also be aligned with learning activities and assessment strategies. When it comes to subject matter experts, myself and some of my senior colleagues will act as experts. We will also use what we consider gold standard articles and guidelines in the field. I have selected the Successive Approximation Model, or SAM, as the best for this course. Stakeholders and learners are involved early on in the process as well as throughout in an iterative fashion and changes are made on the fly. This is ideal for a course like this when you involve adult learners. As we are dealing with adult learners, it makes sense that the main learning theory would be that of andragogy, but there will also be a little bit of cognitivism, constructivism, and even behavioralism seen throughout this online course. When dealing with adult learners, you have to be careful not to bore them, and therefore I have used several digital media throughout this course. They include infographics, audio files, video files, uh, storyboards were created for most of them, there's also surveys, quizzes, and assignments that hopefully will stimulate the learner. I have chosen Canvas as my LMS as it is already being used at our university. Let me show you how the final course might look for a learner. When a student logs into the Canvas LMS, they will land on this page that shows them the four modules. Module one is just an introduction. Module two is linked to course learning outcome one that provides a theoretical background. Module three will ask them to apply their knowledge in practical situations. And module four is a conclusion and wrap up. When students start the course, they will get to a welcome page where there will be some general information as well as a link and more information about the syllabus. More about that later. Also included in the welcome message is a video recording to help orientate the student to what's about to unfold. Well, let's talk about that syllabus. There is a PDF version of the syllabus for those who prefer it in that format. Learners can also click on the syllabus on the left-hand side and will be taken to a very extensive syllabus provided for this course. As mentioned early, Everything in this course is aligned with the course learning outcomes as well as the module learning objectives. And you can see that it is listed in the different modules. I will click on this one to show an example of how the learning objectives 
are mentioned at the start of a module. Learning material are represented in a variety of formats. I will show you here as an example when we talk about the basic theory of giving feedback. We start with a definition as well as a reference where it's coming from. There are infographics to show differences between different styles, more articles as well as their references, as well as videos that might accompany some of the articles to explain things in a little more detail. In an attempt to engage the learner, we make use of discussion forums, quizzes, and assignments. We start off by pre-test quiz just to see what knowledge the learner comes to the course with. This might be helpful to adapt the course along the way in case we need to. We also have discussion forums where learners can learn about each other. Some of them are graded and some not. In module one, there's one that's not graded, but people are expected to post something before they will see other replies. In module two, we have a traditional quiz that actually is graded. And in this case, we have made use of a variety of different question styles, just again, to keep the entertainment value high. It ranges from multiple choice questions to um, matching statements, ranking statements, and even places where students have to fill in the gaps. In module two, there's an example of a discussion forum that is actually graded. Students are given a detailed prompt about what's expected of them, and then they're asked to give feedback on a video where a faculty member provides feedback to, to a student. In this case, there is a rubric assigned to the quiz as well, sorry, to the discussion forum. For the final assignment, students are asked to provide feedback to a video that they watch. Again, there is a rubric assigned for the students to see how points will be awarded. Please note that at the moment, videos cannot be posted as I do not have permission of the university to use these outside of their environment. In the end, I was very enthusiastic and very eager to evaluate my own course. I made use of the Oscar course design review. And I have to say, I did score pretty good, although there's always room for improvement. Thank you for the opportunity that I was provided to give you a glimpse through my journey through the instructional design mini course, as well as in creating this online course. I hope that you were able to see the potential of this course, and I'm grateful for any feedback that you might have. Thank you again.